Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for March 19th through the 25th. Generally, my weeklies are love readings, so we're just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to get one of these uh, oracle cards, and we're going to reveal it at the end, and then we will break right into the tarot deck here in a minute. This is for Virgo. I didn't see it, did you? This is for Virgo. What do you have for Virgo this week? Please, God, angel, spirits, and universe, we need a new story. We're ready for a new story. Can you give us a new story, a new path? Confidence, courage, discipline, willpower, courage. Passion. Thinking about it, thinking about something heavily, still on my mind, trying to come up with the courage, finding my courage, still thinking about it. Ooh. Disruption. Some sort of disruption, some sort of, uh, breakdown that forces change because you've just been thinking when you think 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 and don't take any action that's usually when the tower moment comes in to open up new paths to give you a challenge the tower brings challenges. And I think that you are being called to act on your hunches, but you've just been thinking about it. I've been thinking about following my hunches and going down a new path. But right now I'm still working on my confidence, building confidence, building courage. Contemplating. Do I really want to end this? Because this is the death of an idea. Thinking about it, thinking about a completion, thinking about ending something. You may be feeling dead inside at this time. Unable to make the practical approach, unable to take the practical approach, unable to be responsible for yourself it's like you're not you're not you're not in your own element at this time you're not this is you and you're not in your own element you may be materialistic you could be dealing with another Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that is possessive and suspicious of you or you're suspicious of them you may, be, you may be focused on a situation where there's no love, because this is no love. It's focused on financial security, okay? Somebody that's really focused on everything but love at this time. You're not in a place where there's a whole shitload of love.
And there's a lack of faith, lack of faith in yourself. Somebody isn't listening to their inner guide. I asked for a new story, God. Please, I asked for a new story. When? Well, the God's on your side because the tower is here. This is a blessing in disguise. So whether it happens this week or next week or whatever, something is going to happen to hopefully send you down a new path. Or it's building your courage. Something is happening. Okay, this recuperation that you're going through or whatever, this contemplation, this thinking mode that you're in. I mean, it's not in vain. You are building up the confidence to take action. And it's a damn good thing you are too because the tower is here and you're going to need that confidence and courage. Because you've been, you've been really stubborn here. You haven't been uh, in your own element. Like I said, you're feeling kind of dead inside. There's a lack of passion, lack of confidence, and a lack of courage. And... I think you're building it up. You are. But this is this is trying to be conventional, you know, trying to take the conventional co approach, lack of faith in oneself, unable to follow your own path. That's what this is. And the tower sees that you are unable to follow your own inner guide and your own path. There's not love where you're at. Okay? There's no love here. It's like there's a dream that is no longer part of your reality. And you're resisting a change. Even though you feel empty, this is emptiness as well. There's a lot of emptiness here. Somebody is feeling very, very empty and incomplete and unable to close a door that they desperately want to close. Unable to accept reality. Fear of change. Fear of the unknown. Confusion. A lot of confusion here. But you're not in your own element. You're not. It's like I'm feeling really empty and confused. My inner guide is really poking me daily. You know, it's telling me that I need to make a move. And I'm unable to make a move. I'm unable. To release. You're thinking about releasing. But do you have the courage? You have you have a lot of passion, okay? You do. It's like you are overflowing with passion. And you want to expand your horizons. It's like you are just like on fire. And wherever you're at. It's not making you, it's not fulfilling your wishes. It's, it's not. And you are being called to have strength. Strength is all over in this reading. Strength and passion is here. You are full of it. You are on fire. And it's just about killing you to stay in this situation that doesn't fulfill your, your dreams, doesn't fulfill your, your love, okay? concentrating on the difficulties you're going through some disappointments right now and you're focused on the disappointments not realizing that there's more for you okay staying stuck in the past not not realizing the future not stepping into the earth you are blocking your ships from coming in you're being called and i think that many of you may do it this week you may take action that's what it looks like some will, some won't. Some of you have really gained a lot of courage. You have. I mean, look at it all. Courage, 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 courage and strength. There's a lot of courage and strength that has been gained. And I think that many of you, you are so full of passion that you're about ready to explode. And uh, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like... You're about ready to give up on a situation. You are. A situation that has made you feel very empty and incomplete. I think that you're so close to taking action. Like, seriously.
But how long can you prepare for? It's like you've been preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing. But you may be you may be not wanting to make some compromises. There's a lack of wanting to work together with somebody. You know, that's what the problem is, is that you're going to have to make some compromises and give up some things to, to take, to do this. Okay. And that is definitely an issue here, but there's no future here. Okay. There's none. There isn't. You're going backwards by staying someplace that you don't want to be. It's like you're trying to control this whole situation that is really out of your control. You can't control destiny. This is destiny. It's reversed. You're trying to control it. You're trying to stop this wheel from spinning even though your wishes and your desires want it to spin. But you're trying to keep everything in control because you don't want things to get chaotic and out of control. And you don't know what's going on in the future. But you're overloaded with passion and you don't want to be here. But you're scared. But you are gaining confidence and you may take action. Because it feels like you can't, you might, you might not be able to keep it in much longer. You may just spill the beans. It feels like somebody, the truth is about to come out. You may just spill the beans because there ain't nothing happening. There no changes are, the wheel is not spinning. There's no good things coming from staying stuck in this situation where there's, there's no fire. You need to... You know, follow your dreams. Take the lead. You take the lead. Unless you don't want to have love. You may be feeling like, you know, there's no relationship growth where you're at and you know it. You know that there's no relationship growth. Nothing is, is changing here. And right now you're building up the confidence. You're building up the confidence to take action. With that magician card there, that is about taking action to bring success to your life. Here we have power struggles, tension, conflict. Why? You're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All the while feeling unloved. Or you're not in love. Somebody's not in love. And wanting to end a commitment. Or not. Receiving a commitment. Somebody wants to get out of a commitment. And they're struggling with their decision. Do I go? Do I stay? They're battling with themselves. Same person. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But you are being called to follow your dreams and take the lead. Find the confidence and the courage to do it. Because where you're at, it's not solid anymore. It's not stable anymore. It's not abundant. It's not happy. The home life isn't happy. It's time to sever the ties. This is severance. With the commitment, that's where it's going. Sever ties with the commitment. I mean, that's what it says. So that you can find 
and be with the love that you want to be with. You ha and this could be mental severing of ties, okay? If you are single and you are still holding on to the past, then you haven't severed the ties. If you are coupled and you're wanting out, you know, you can take what you want from this reading. But I feel like this is a new partnership. New N-E-W. And this is also in regards to the partnership that you want to get out of, okay? This is a partnership. It's going right here. Severing ties with a partnership that it's no longer happy, stable, and abundant. Take the lead. So that you can get what you deserve. This is a wake-up call. You are being offered the opportunity to speak your truth. That's what this is. Could be in regards to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be any other sign. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have them all. We have all the signs here. All of them. So it could be anybody. But it feels like there you are either very withdrawn unable to communicate or the person you're dealing with is okay somebody is not able to communicate at this time not able to make move forward they may be very um cold detached and there's there could also be some emotional blackmail here maybe you are maybe you are staying in a situation that you're in because you're being emotionally blackmailed and you may, you may not even know you're being emotionally blackmailed. Maybe you're emotionally blackmailing yourself. So what's the advice for this week? To use your power? To stand up for yourself? To sever some ties? To find the courage, the strength, and the, and the wisdom, and the power? To, met, to master your emotions and go down this new path? There's so much passion here. It's about ready to blow. Or are you going to let yourself be controlled and manipulated? You can free yourself from this false bond. That's what this devil is. It's a false bond. You can free yourself. You're loosely bound or not even bound. You're really not bound. You're letting something control you that you are meant to face, okay? This is what this is, too. The devil is also a karmic card. This is a karmic situation where you are meant to face it. And until you do, you're going to continue to suffer. Didn't we have the hair font reversed here? Was that the other reading? Oh, yes, we did. Okay. Somebody lacks the faith. Somebody lacks the faith to face this devil energy. I mean, come on, that's what it is now. The devil is false, lies, untrue, not meant for you. And the way that you get past this energy is to flip this card upright and follow your inner guide. Let faith and belief in yourself prevail, not this. So anyway, what I see this week is that you guys are contemplating going down a new path and you've been building your courage and building your confidence and it's really high it's really really high your confidence is building every single day and I feel like you've got to a point where it's about ready to um, blow okay and you know you could blow at any moment and speak your truth that could be the tower moment I mean because the ace of swords is pointing at the tower it is so you could be the one that just like, whew, and again, absolutely. What do fires do? They blow. So there certainly could be a blow here that happens this week that, you know, 
changes your life for the better. You ready? Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. I just got done saying change your life. Son of a gun, these people, they love me. It's the truth. <laughs> Speak the language of love, the love for yourself. Speak up for yourself. And I have to show you this, this seven of wands. That's speak up for yourself. <laughs> it's time. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Including your own. Go for what you want. So Virgo, that's what I have for this week. Forgot to zoom that in, didn't I? Damn it all. You know comes and it goes. I, sometimes I zoom it in, sometimes I don't. Talk to you later.